colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com. Kenya deports French national over economic sabotage. Authorities in Kenya have ordered the deportation of a French national, Jean Christian, over what they refer to as economic sabotage. Documents show that the said individual who is the managing director of an oil company called Rubis Energy has been creating artificial shortage of oil through hoarding to escalate economic crisis in the country. Additionally, records show that his firm has reported higher export volumes of oil while the local channels that serve the Kenya market remain with minimal fuel at a higher rate. According to the laws of Kenya, this type of crime is categorized as a serious crime which attracts a prison term of up to 10 years. The law also sets to fine 1 million shillings. This is a good start. Probably he was working with more people, you know, at the end of the day, how well can one person work in this huge industry? He was the director of Ruby's Energies. Like, yes, that was a big position, but he definitely needed help for him to accomplish what he needed to accomplish, which is, you know, to use Kenyan's government word, economic sabotage. That's what they were um, accusing him of and that's why they deported him. So I feel like there's more digging and there's more investigation that they need to do because I am sure this guy didn't do it alone and the locals and the foreigners that came together to you know, hurt Kenya's economy need to be investigated and they need to pay for what they're doing. Deportation is good, as I said, it's a good start, but I also believe in making sure that these people serve in your country. The offense is in Kenya, right? He needs to go to prison for a bit, like 10 years, right? That's what they usually would have given to a local. So why not give him the exact same sentence and then he gets deported? Why does he get the luxury of, you know, being deported and escaping um, the law? Deportation is good, as I said, but I think there's a lot that can be done and I hope they figure out who else was working with him because we all know we have sellouts here on the continent and the sellouts usually allow foreigners to infiltrate our country and mess with our economy, mess with our politics, and you know, even go as far as assassinating our good leaders and leave the country without paying for it, without you know, facing any kind of consequence. So people like this need to pay the price so that the next generation sees that we're really serious about sellouts and people that will sell their countries to benefit their own, their pockets, just get a few millions and that's enough for them to ruin their own kids' future. So um, it's a good start. They have deported him and and they are going to continue their investigation. We shall see what is going to come out of this investigation. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.